everybody. Welcome to Keyboard Games Book A, page 26. We're going to be looking at T-Rex today. Well, we're going to start with the hello song. looking at Russian folk song one. Would you please gently move a body that feels like taffy? Oh, it's so hard to pull. It's like you took out a bit of Laffy Taffy and you're trying to pull on it. Can you keep your feet glued on the floor and move with me? And sing la. La. Ooh. Oh, that was hard to do. Okay, we're gonna do some tonal patterns in minor. La mi mi fa mi re do ti si la. Would you please echo back what I sing? Bum bum bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Now how about these? La, do, mi. Mi, re, ti. Si. Okay, I'm going to do a chant called Gone Fishing. Would you help me sway from side to side while I do this chant? This chant is in triple meter. It's going to move in three. Ba 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 can you help me chant macro beats on bum? Bum, 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 bum. Now let's chant micro beats. Bum, 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 bum. Say this after me. Do ta da ta dee ta do. Do ta da dee do. Do da dee ta do. Do ta da di ta do. Bum ba ba bum. Ba ba bum bum. Ba 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 bum. Bum ba bum. Oh, thank you. We're gonna do the Siberian Husky. And would you please just walk around where you have really heavy arms, like you suddenly got the arms off of a big gorilla. You're gonna walk around with your gorilla arms. Can you please swing your arms in all the space around you that you can find? Ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum, ba ba bum, ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum, ba ba bum, ba 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 bum. Now we're gonna do some things to get ready for our song to play today which is called T-Rex. All right, would you please pretend 
that you are a giant T-Rex. And can you walk around? You don't know what they look like. This is what a T-Rex looks like. Oh, look how scary that is. All right, can you move like a big T-Rex while I sing a song? Ba, 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 ba. resting tone before I start. Can you please keep that resting tone in your head? When I stop singing, would you freeze and sing the resting tone on? Bum. So here it is one more time. Bum. Sing please. Okay, when I stop singing, freeze your T-Rex and sing. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, now I'm going to play T Rex. This is our song. I want you to put your listening ears on. And would you tell me if you can hear do day or do daddy? Remember that do day moves in two. Do day, do day. And do daddy moves in three. Do daddy, do daddy. So think about which one you're hearing when I play this song. chant do days while I play the song one more time. You can chant with me if you want. Do day, do day. chant in the very end of the song. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. Now I'm home. That's going to be important because now we are going to take our T-Rex for a walk. Why not, right? You take a dog for a walk. Why wouldn't we take our T-Rex for a walk? So we are going to start on the floor. We're gonna take T-Rex for a walk all the way on the floor. Okay, here we go. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, now I'm home. Oh, that was a good walk. Okay, let's go for another one. Let's go, I'm gonna go on the piano. I'm gonna do my white keys here, my black keys up here. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, now I'm home. Do day, do. All right, let's try. We're going to take T-Rex for a walk way up here above my head. I'm going to go like this so you can see my hands. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, now I'm home. Okay, I think... The last one I'm going to do is going to be right here, right in front of my nose. I'm just going to do it right here. I'm going to turn like this. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. 
Now I'm home, which is D A D. Oh, that was pretty cool. I've never taken a T Rex for a walk before. That was fun. All right, now we're going to review the green caterpillar. Let's see if you remember how to play the green caterpillar, which we learned last week. I'm going to go ahead and play this a couple of times, and then I'll talk you through it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to play it. If you already know how to play it, you can just pause the video and you can play it by yourself right now. Here, I'm going to go ahead and play it a couple of times. Remember, if I look over here on this side, it says a little soft and slow. Do da dee do. Ready, play me now. Da dee do da dee do da dee do da dee. Da dee do da dee do da dee do. You know, now that I think about it, I think I could play even more slowly. What if I try it even more slowly? <laughs> Do da di do ready play do da di 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 do oh that, I think that sounds more like a caterpillar. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things on here to help you find this in case you're having trouble. So if you see on your book where it says the green caterpillar, here's where your hands go. Actually, it's just one hand. See how you just have one finger for this whole piece? See where it's going to start? And it goes all the way, crawls all the way down over here. And then it goes back and it stops right there. That's our last key for our first pattern. So it goes do da di do da di do da di do da di. Then we hop up back here to finish. Do da di do da di do da di do. Remember how the caterpillar hops in one spot to finish. Do, da, di, do. I'll play it one more time and then we're going to sing some more songs. I'm going to take my piano and look. I'm going to count my sets of two black keys. I've got one, two, and then three is where the black keys are that I'm going to use, the set of two. Here I go. Here's where my hand starts. Do da di do ready play now. Do da di do da di do da di do da di back up. Do da di do da di do da di do. If you're having any trouble with that song. We will look at that together when we have our group class check-in. And if you're already a champ at playing it, I would love to hear it when we have our group class check-in. All right, now I'm going to sing, or chant, I should say, The Green Meadow. Can you help me, while I chant this song, can you help me lift my macro beats up in the air like it's a balloon. Have you ever played that game with a balloon where you're trying to keep the balloon up in the air and it keeps falling? Feel that energy as you pat that balloon up into the air. And I don't need a note because I'm chanting it. All right, so here we go. Here I go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. I'm in duple meter. I'm moving in two. Let's chant our macro beats on do. Do, do, do. Micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, to, day, to, do. Do, day, to, do. 
do today do do to do ba ba bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum ba ba bum thank you now we're going to do dutch folk dance Would you please pack some really strong macro beats in the air? We were just lifting them up in the air. Now I want you to pack them. Pack those strong macro beats in the air. Can you sing my resting tone? Now I'm going to do some tonal patterns. I would love for you to echo those after me. Do, mi, so, so, la, so, fa, ni, ti, do. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Do, mi, so, so, re, ti, re, so, so, mi, do. All right, I'm going to sing four more songs, yeah. and then we're going to do some improv, and then we're going to learn how to play T-Rex. Okay, so I'm going to sing Astro. Fa, la, do, do, re, do, ti, la, so, mi, fa. Would you please listen to me sing the song? And then I want you to audiate the song, which means you hear the entire song in your head. So after I sing, I'm going to wait for you to hear the whole song in your head, and then I'm going to sing it again. All right, are you ready? So put your listening ears on. Do you have them? In your head. trouble hearing that because of Clara barking. I don't blame you. I had trouble hearing that too. All right, I'm going to do it one more time now. Okay, now I'm going to sing Leaves Are Falling. Would you please help me jump? And I'm going to show you how to jump to our strong beats on this song. <laughs> Did you get to do that too? I hope so. Whew, that takes a lot of energy, but it's fun. So ti re re mi re do ti ha fa so. I'm gonna sing Scotty. Would you please move the upper part of your body for the first half of the song and the lower part of your body for the second half of the song? Ba 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 bum bum. And if you sang that back, that was great. And if not, that's totally fine. I'm gonna catch my breath a moment. <sighs> All that jumping. La do mi mi fa mi re do ti so la. 
Would you move while I sing Del Nation dance like you are floating in outer space? <coughs> Now, I would love for you to go to the piano. Can you find your piano, your keyboard? Go ahead and move your bench back, have somebody help you so that when you're sitting, when you have your hands up like this, that's just where the end of the keys are on your keyboard. Or if you have a fall board like mine does, then it's right where the fall board is. Then if you need something under your feet, for your feet to be nice and tall without falling off the edge of the bench, then have somebody help you put something under your feet. If none of that is possible, you can't really get to the keyboard like that, then just stand at the keyboard. Standing is totally fine. Okay, so I'm going to chant a rhythm pattern, but before I chant, I want you to decide your dynamics. That means I want you to decide if you're going to play very loudly, very softly, or maybe a little loudly or a little softly. So take a moment, I want you to think about how loudly or softly you're gonna play. Okay, and I'm going to play a little loudly. So I'm gonna chant a rhythm pattern. You play at whatever dynamic you chose, and then I'll play after you. Okay, here's the rhythm pattern. So, do, do, do. Here I go. Do, day, do. Okay, let's do another one like that. I'll give you a diff different rhythm pattern. Here I go. Do, do, day. Okay, how about this one? We're gonna do a couple in triple meters. Do da di do, here I go. Do da di do. And then the last one. Do do da di. All right. You can do as many of those at home as you want. You can come up with your own rhythm patterns. You can play anywhere on the piano you want. Just before you start to play, I want you to decide whether you're going to play softly or loudly, very softly, very loudly, a little softly, a little loudly. I want you to choose. Okay, now, we are going to learn how to play T-Rex. So, before we do this, can you find a white key on the piano. Any white key. I'm going to go right here. And can you move to the very next black key? If you have two black keys right next to your key, it can be either direction. When you move your hand, can you please move your whole arm and your whole arm is going to pick up your hand and drop it from the white key up to the black key just enough that you get up to the black key so you're not trying to go with your finger you're not going to rest your hand like this you're not going to try to reach even from this position you're not going to move your arm way up here kind of like I did when I played the song earlier. Now just use your arm to lift your hand enough to get to the keys. Okay, now can you try it with two hands? Try one hand on a white key and the other hand on a white key. Now go that one hand and the other hand on black keys. Use that arm to move your hands up. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do before I show you the whole song is we're gonna play those ending white keys. 
So if you look in your book on page 26, you will find the keys that you need. You have your S1 and your S2. You see which hands you use and which fingers. This is where you're going to start. These are also the keys we're going to use to finish it. So we're going to start right here on these two white keys and we're going to play them together. It's going to be at the same time. It's going to sound like this. That's our Now I'm Home that we did when we did the chant. Or do, day, do. So you try that. Go ahead and pause this at any time when you want to practice part of this. And then we're going to try going from these white keys up to the black keys. So S1, S2, and then do it in that same order going up to the black keys. Now we're going to do the end of the song. We're going to start up in the black keys, and here's what it looks like. That's do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Or if I do my hands in the air, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. So I want you to try that several times until that feels really easy. You can just pause it right here and then take as long as you need to do that several times. After that, then we're going to try the beginning of the song. That's on our white keys. That's all on our white keys, and that's do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. I'll play it one more time. second half up on the black keys I'll play the whole song one more time and then I'm going to go into our ending song Now when you're at home, you take all the time that you need to work on that. If you're having trouble with this song, we will look at that when we have our group class check-in. I can send you a video with the phone up over the keyboard so that you can see the keys a little bit more easily, if that will be helpful. And also, while you're working on this, I would love for you to take some time to draw a picture of a T-Rex some different dinosaurs. Now I just have some here that I want to show you. We have several different dinosaurs here. So here's our T-Rex. Look how big and scary he is. I'm kind of scared. A lot of big teeth. So that's the T-Rex. He's got big feet, a long tail, and just tiny, tiny little arms. I think it's the Robinsons. This one is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus was a plant eater. I always thought the Brontosaurus was pretty cool. Cool dinosaur. It looks kind of like a giraffe. It's got this really, really long neck. This one is a Triceratops. It has three horns. One, two, three, right up here, and this big fan around its head. Here's the Triceratops. This one is a pterodactyl, kind of like a bird. It's got these big wings, Ooh, little claws at the end of the wings, and this long beak, almost like a bird's beak. And then this one is the stegosaurus. I always thought the stegosaurus looked like the friendliest dinosaur. I'm not sure why. So there he is. He's got kind of a small face, big body over here, and look at all these scales on the back. So cool. I think the Stegosaurus would be a really fun one to draw. So you draw some pictures, or you could look online and print some pictures of dinosaurs, and you could color those. So do that while you're working on this song, too. That's part of your practice. And if you have any trouble, we will look at that together when we have our group class check-in. Now, to finish off today, I'd like us to, just for fun, play If You're Happy and You Know It, 
and I'm going to play the teacher part so that you can play it with a duet. This is one of those super fun songs that's kind of hard to play without the other part. So you go ahead, come to the piano, find your spot, count your sets of two black keys. There's one, and then there's where your hands go. Remember, I'm going to chant two do days before you start to play.